there are some skills and abilities that I think the Lord is going to use um, explicitly um, in the church in your life. And, it, and I think one of them is going to be uh, teaching the word of God, no, no matter what, to, to bigger groups. That's, that's really cool, man. Uh, hey, so tell us right now, like, what, what was your favorite, what were some of the favorite classes that you took last year and this year? Like, what, what, do you, what are you doing right now? Yeah, so I think last year, honestly, my favorite my favorite classes have kind of been my Bible classes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just <Yeah>. honestly, <laughs> I love my Bible classes so much. That's yeah. why I loved yours so much. Yeah. I just loved them. Good times. Really good times. Um, but I think my favorite class last year is called Bible and the Gospel. It was mm-hmm. like the entry level, like every freshman kind of, or like early sophomore takes it. And it's just kind of like, you know, it sounds super simple. Like, oh, it's just the Bible and the gospel. And you're like, oh, you know, I already knew this stuff. So I came into it with that mindset <laughs> totally wrong. Right. I came into it with that mindset. And I mean, the Lord huh. <laughs> was just like, yeah, you don't know as much as you think you do. And I'm sitting in that class and I'm taking notes. And sometimes I'm like, I don't think I've ever thought about that before. Mm. Like when we got on a unit about fasting, I was like, I've never thought about fasting that much <laughs> in my life. <laughs> and then my yeah. teacher's like, yeah, I fast. Like I do things every he fasts every single week and he was like, you can make it a normal practice. And I was like, okay, yeah. like I can try, you know? And yeah. so it was just interesting to see how like a super basic class was like super helpful for me. Mm. Um, especially in creating like good, like habits. So like reading the word and praying, like that was mm-hmm. a big emphasis in that class just personally. Um, so I found that really helpful and, I, I took a lot of nursing classes that were really solid. Um, this semester, I'm taking the hardest nursing class I've had, which is pharmacology. So everything about medicine is <laughs> learning about medicine. The literal hard. medicine, the like the pills and the chemistry yeah. of all that stuff. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And that's been a hard class, but I, I really love medicine. So I found it hard, but also like really good. Um, yeah. Mm. And I'm also taking a class on wisdom literature. So it's about Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Solomon this semester. Mm-hmm. Super solid. Just got through Proverbs. Really, wow. really solid. So I love that too. Well, that's awesome. I mean, just to hear you say that, I think of, um, it was uh, St. Augustine who said that the, the Bible is shallow enough for a child to swim in and yet deep enough for an elephant to drown. And what he meant was, is like, you can, you can never get to the bottom of it. There's always something new uh, to learn about the word of God. And so, so don't be surprised. <laughs> don't be surprised seriously, when you... Seriously. Yeah, I no doubt. I was like, wow, there's so much to learn. No so. doubt. But let's, let's explore that a little bit more. Like, tell me about how... Tell me about your Berean experience and how your Berean experience, you know, both um, spiritually and academically, you know, prepared you for this, uh, this step that you've taken over there at Cedarville. Yeah. So I think, I think academically... Um, It was a thought, it was, I actually told a friend like this the other day, but like my junior year, I took three AP classes. So I really just wanted to push myself and it was really tough, but I I enjoyed all of them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, like that was good. You know, that was a good year. And, you know, senior year came around and I was like, you know, maybe I should just kind of lighten up a little bit, not go too hard. Just kind of let myself chillax a little bit before getting into college and going crazy. And I came to the point of like, do I do AP Lit and AP Calculus or do I not? Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to push myself. I'm going to go for it. Um, Which (laughs) it was, was, they were both so hard. (laughs) I I had a hard time (laughs) with those classes. It was, was, they were tough. But um, through those classes, like, I definitely learned a lot about like putting effort in and putting work in. um, Right. And really like trying to like really use my time well to make Mm -hmm. sure like, hey, I'm understanding this material. Um, And honestly, like, that, that, pushing myself in high school when I got to college like I learned really quick like oh no I had to put the same effort in you know like that effort I put into those classes when Mm -hmm. I really came down to it it was like that's what college is going to be so for me nursing like obviously a lot of classes are going to be pretty tough so there's a lot of effort put into those but I mean for even for someone doing business I know business gets a lot of like oh you're a business major so you'll be fine you know it's not hard (laughs) But even them, at some point, it cracks down. You know, yeah. like you have to like really like you have to put the time in. Right. Um, so I think academically, I learned senior year for sure, like how to actually <laughs> work hard, right? And 
really put in effort. And then in college, it's just like, oh, it's just doing the same stuff. It's just a lot more frequent, you know? Right. Um, so I found that to be really helpful academically. Mm-hmm. Um, and honestly, spiritually, I think having, um, is it goes back to the Bible classes, but having those Bible classes at Berean, especially, I'm not trying to like butter you up, I promise. Like your Bible Oh yeah, class, bring it, bring it. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Please, 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 please. You know? no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. but your Bible class, when you know, learning about church history and like how to interpret the Bible, mm-hmm. I was like, I want to learn that stuff so bad. Yeah. Like I have, like I had such like a drive to want to know that stuff more. Mm. And so coming in, like having that foundation of like you know, we're going through hermeneutics, which is just interpreting the Bible. It's like I come into college and I'm just like, well, now I'm trying to learn, like trying to think through that stuff. And then also yeah. like whether it's through my classes or through the church, like understand how do I like continue to progress in those things. Yeah. Um, so I thought like especially your class, but like and even in other ways, just like set a foundation for me yeah. that when I got to college, it was like, oh, I can build upon that and continue to grow, like whether it's in my faith or just in understanding of scripture things like that um and hopefully that's intertwined <laughs> so yeah, it, um, the, everything is everything is spiritual right. everything is spiritual no doubt and right. and the way um you spoke about you know that effort and that grit and that academic um environment that too is a, is a spiritual act you know yeah. because you know we're we're worshiping the lord well by with our effort you know with our the talents and the abilities and the skills that he's given to us you know, we give it back to him and 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 through our efforts and, and how hard we try to maximize even, those things. Yeah. And even off of that real quick, one of the biggest things that I, when it came to that, because you're absolutely right, it is spiritual. That's one thing I learned when I got to college is like, you know, doing my work isn't just like, oh, I have to get work done. It's like, no, it's one, it's a means to worship God. Yeah. Um, one, another, it's a means to steward like an opportunity God has given me. Mm-hmm. Um. And it's also, <laughs> I found out how lazy I was when I got to college. <laughs> I was like, man, like, you? I, I, I remember, yeah, right, I know, <laughs> but I kid you not, like, the first couple of weeks I was at college, I would go to school, do all my work, and get home, home in my dorm. And I played video games for like an hour and a half just to like decompress. <laughs> and I was just like up at like two every night. I'm like, why am I up at two? Yeah. I'm like, I'm wasting my time. Could have been 12 30. Seriously, <laughs> it was uh, serious, but that's serious. Like it was a big learning yeah. point for me to be like, oh, I need to steward my time well. And honestly, I had to ask the Lord so much to, to help me to use my time well. Mm-hmm. That was my one of my biggest prayers freshman year was just like, Lord, help me use my time well. Lord, help me not to be lazy. All those things because I just really struggled with that. So I found out that like, Hey, not doing your work isn't just like, oh, you just don't have to do it. It's like, no, you're actually not stewarding what God is giving you to do. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, that's convicting. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No that doubt. Was really helpful. Really helpful. So all right, man. Well, you know, you said so much already that I think um, you know, the Berean students can can hear and see, you know, and <laughs> get just start to get a picture of um what, what it, life is like, you know, uh, for you at a Christian uh university. Two years in now, almost two years in. Um, but so what would you say if we, we were back at chapel, if we were in the gym and there was 450 some people in that place packed out and you were under the, the limelight right there at half court. And I asked you, I asked you, what, what, what do you say to these, these folks, these high school students? What, what, what would you say? What would you say to them? Yeah, I think, I think something that comes to mind like right away is just like how important it is to be building like a good habit of getting into God's word. Mm. Um, which I mean, honestly, I didn't even do really consistently until after my senior year, like basically right before I got to college during that summer, I started to read a lot more. And then when I got to school, I started to really like grow in that consistency. Mm -hmm. But man, I, I can't emphasize enough. Like, how important it is just to be like, even if it's for five minutes, just like reading God's word, building that habit. Um, because yeah, I've seen how much like God has used his word, just even in my daily reading, but just even through like church has like totally really changed my heart and changed my life. Yeah. Um, and I still have a long way to go. Um, but I remember we've been at my church. We're going through this book 
um, called The Keys to Spiritual Growth. Hmm. And something that, and it's by John MacArthur, and something that he says, that also my pastor has said, is like, when I committed myself to the study of God's word, my life changed. Yeah. I keep running back to that for myself. It's just like, if I commit myself to continually study God's word, to worship for him for who I see he is, to, you know, love Christ more as I read the word, like, he will change my life mm. and change my heart. Yeah. And I look back in high school and I'm like, man, like, I wish I started building that habit then, you know, or I wish that like I started to understand how important God's word is for all of my life. Mm -hmm. You know, it says in um, second Peter chapter one, that um, his divine power is granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Mm -hmm. And I just see that. I'm just like literally everything. So you have what you, you need going on in your life, you everything you, you need. need. Yeah. God has, and God has given to us through his word. So like, if you have a question, run to God's word. Right. I just always had to remind myself, like how important his word is um, to yeah. be relied on, to be treasured. And so I think that was a big thing that I, I, I would communicate. It's just like, you know, whether it's just like, Hey, talk to a teacher about it, talk to your parents about it, like, or just start reading. I'd say find a book, you know, sometimes it's like, Oh, I'll just open up the Bible to like, proverbs and then next day i open up to ezekiel it's like oh, i'd be good to like study a book i found that yeah helpful. just like yeah, i'm gonna go through a book but <laughs> i kind of kind of i do it now i'm like oh i haven't read that before maybe i'll just read that now mm -hmm. you know um but i definitely have found that to be a big thing a really big like crucial part of like my growth in my faith um and then like we talked about before like setting yourself and committing to finding a local church yeah and then you know when you find one that's solid mm -hmm. like investing and not just being like oh i show up on sunday and then i dip and then i don't you know do anything and then i go back on sunday like i get everyone's busy i get it mm -hmm. and i know i'm i'm pretty busy but it's like when you make that time to invest in your local church to really um get involved yeah. like I, I mean i can't communicate enough how important and how helpful it's been mm -hmm. in my growth in my love for the Lord, just in doing that too. So those are the two things I'd say like, Hey, keep, keep thinking about those. If you're kind of thinking through like college stuff or even just in high school, you're just going through high school. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's awesome, man. I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm so thankful for you. I, I mean, I, I just love hearing these stories of um, Berean kids. Well, you're the third, third one. Now we've done, we've uh, in a series <laughs> of folks, we had Brenna Bond, we had Joey Utomo and now Mike Williams uh, living it out, you know, living it out, um, walking with the Lord and treasuring him and and in an academic uh, setting. Um, and so so no doubt, man. So, Brian, pray for this guy, Mike Please. Williams, living it out there in the Midwest. And hey, man, when, someday I'm going to need I'm going to need some medical care. And I hope you're the one who takes care of me. But also look forward to that day when. When I hear you preaching the word of God, I'm going to be looking for that on, uh, I guess, social media at Cedarville. I'm going to have to subscribe over there um, hey, and get and get the feed. March 19th. Huh? March 19th. March 19th. All right, yeah, Bree, we're doing 19. it. We're watching this guy. But, hey, thank you so much. God bless you. Um, and just, just keep doing it, man. Keep living it out. So thankful for you. Hey, thanks, Mr. Harris. I appreciate it a lot.